Hey y'all, welcome to beautiful, sunny Germany. It's Mikey from Rockin' K, and as you can tell from the title of the video, we got some equipment in today, and so let's get it unpacked, let's get it on the tractor, and let's put it to use. So it is a beautiful day on the on the homestead here. We got some nice sun, at least for now, because if you look, there's a lot of clouds out there on the horizon. But we've been waiting on some equipment and first piece is here. Don't know when the other stuff's showing up, but we're gonna work with what we got for today. So there's the first piece of equipment. You're wondering, hey, what is it? Well, so, you know, we heat with firewood here and moving that firewood around, especially when, you know, you, you, uh, you cut it, split it, and then you're stacking it up. And if you have to move it, you got to move it piece by piece. Um, and that's a little difficult. And then you're not really sure how much wood you have or what you burned for the year. So this is a bundler. So what you do is you put your meter pieces in and then you strap it up and it has a dump function and you dump it out i have to configure it for the tractor it needs the the pins mounted and stuff like that but i'll show it to you in action and it'll make more sense when we do a couple of bundles so i'm gonna get this thing set up and then you guessed it we're gonna drive around and do some bundles All right, folks, so this equipment is set up for two different categories of three-point hitches in the back of a tractor. Category one side, category two side. So you have to mount the pins according to um, what the tractor has. And for mine, I actually have to make sure that the Cat 1 pins are towards the inside because my tractor actually the three point doesn't go as wide as the outside of this unit it is a compact tractor that's the way it works um thankfully you can do it from either side so that it works out for you if you have a compact tractor so i'll get these spun on there and then we'll bring the tractor around and mount it up All right, now she's all set up to put on the tractor, so we gotta get the tractor set up to put it on it. So I gotta remove the draw bar, and I gotta remove the, uh, the bar across my three link, and then we'll back it up and try hooking this thing up. I have to remove this three point bar, and then of course the draw bar, because the little stand is gonna hit the back of the tractor if I don't. So let's get this off of here, pop that clip, and this one over here. And the nice thing is the tractor actually came with a set of the end clips right here. And we're going to leave them there because it's good to have spares. So let's pull that off of there. And then this draw bar has a pin there. And then we should, yep, 
be able to pull that drawbar out. So as I said earlier, I've never had anything on this three-point except a trailer hitch. So let's see how I do. Got to hook them up to there. Let's do it. So now you can see we got it all on the tractor. It's all good. What we did was we leveled it this way somewhat and right to left. So to level it front to back we used the top link and then of course to level it right to left these are adjustable side links and we adjusted that and then we used the travel limiters to make it so that it doesn't want to rock on the back of the tractor. This way it's a little pretty much stable behind the tractor. The only thing really left is to uh, fill this thing up and see how it does. All right, y'all, I have used similar equipment in the past, um, so shouldn't be too steep of a learning curve. Got my banding material, got that, and a wood. Let's make some bundles. Let's see how this works.
a little bit of a learning curve not really um, the strapping wanted to kind of not like hold on correctly but we got it so we got our oh, we got our first bundle now we gotta go test this dump feature the way it dumps out so let's do that All right, so the first bundle's done. I guess with that dump feature, you wanna have it up a little bit so it has some momentum. I wasn't sure, I didn't wanna damage the equipment, but there's our first bundle. It's not staying there. I'm able to pick it up with the pallet forks on the front of the tractor, but I'll tell you what, I could tell there was a bundle back there. I mean, she is a small tractor, but the bundle should be, I don't know, somewhere around 400 kilos, somewhere around there, so. Let's just do some bundles. I'll bring you back when I get some done. All right, y'all. So it's been a couple of days. Well, it's been, well, what's today? Tuesday. So it's been two days. So yesterday I worked a little bit out wood, but today that's all that's left up here. Let me show you the other stuff. So we got some bundles done. And... Each one of these bundles is a little more than half a meter of wood. So, there's those. That's what, three and four is seven. And then there's five back there because they're double stacked. So that's 12. That's 12 there. And as we go over here a little bit farther, I was going to put them back here. But the issue I was having is it's not level. So we've been bringing in dirt and I'm gonna have to bring in more. So over there you can see we've been bringing in more dirt, but right here is a lip. So when I was trying to put them here, the tractor would come up really high and then down it was kind of tippy. So I really didn't like it. So I did the first three. Um, I did those uh, the first day and then I did uh, like two or three over there two or three of those but today we did the rest and today I got a late start I didn't get started until a little right around five and it's now 
right about seven. So that's about two hours. And so two hours I got those three, those four, and one or two of those. I'm not even sure. But we're getting the hang of it. And I'm gonna do all my firewood that way. This way I can just pick it up and move it whenever I want to. Uh, I will do an in-depth review on this bundler as I uh, start in on the big wood pile because this was only the little one. Um, but definitely going to do a review on this because I didn't see any, I didn't see anything on it uh, on YouTube about it. Anything. It's the only half meter one I could find. But that thing's pretty slick. So, and it's about the right size for that tractor. But I figure I got, mm, that's maybe one and a half. One and a half more, but we're going to call it for now. I need dinner. I need something to drink because it is warm out today. It was an absolute beautiful day. But we'll pick up on it again tomorrow. Hey, y'all. And another little wood update. All the wood that was here is now gone. Good stuff. And the bundler has been working great. Um, getting used to it and stuff. Sorry if there's a lot of wind. Um, storms coming in. Uh, so I had to stop doing firewood. But we got a couple done, I think. <laughs> yeah, so we're 22 bundles in and it's working great. Um, as you can see, it's, you know, it's making them easier to handle. And that was the whole idea. I still have the three over over there behind me. Um, I'm working on where to put all of this because it's a lot of firewood. Um, so I think my plan is, and man, that barn's getting rough. I think the plan is to start here on the fence and then make a, a row all the way up because I can double and triple stack them. So, um, yeah, if I, if I run it from this fence post and, you know, as I'm walking, I'll get up here more. But, yeah, I think that's going to be the plan. Put a row right from that, right there, that fence post, right along what has now become a road. <clears throat> and then stack them up the firewood pile to get smaller of course but that's until I buy another load of firewood so yeah the piles the pile used to be much taller <clears throat> I've been pulling them down let them roll and that was a big boy but even this pile out front where it's all cut it's getting smaller so all right off to other things storms coming in all right, y'all, so it's been a couple of days, and I did a little bit more firewood. So, you can see behind me, most of it's gone. Well, most of the cut wood, but we still got a lot of logs. I spent today, spent like five hours today, maybe six, doing more firewood. And I can say that that bundler it works. Um, there was a touch of a learning curve because I've never used one that dumped off the back. Um, the ones that I've used in the past dumped sideways. Plus they were one whole meter bundles, not half meter bundles. But we really have a lot of bundles now. So you saw in the earlier clip where I had 22 I think it was 22. Well, now there's 32. So, there is a lot, a lot, a lot of firewood over here. And I think I can say with confidence that the uh, the wood bundler is a, is a good deal. It, you know, it's gonna make it where I can pick up these, these bundles 
with the front loader of the tractor and put them wherever I want. And I'll have to stack them up and stuff like that. And we're working the solution. Um, I don't know if I said it before, but we're probably going to just run them from that fence post up along this road and stack them like three high. But the solution that I'm talking about is we need to be able to keep them up and out of the, the grass and getting wet and stuff like that. So you can, I don't know if you can see it, but I did move a bundle that was here and you can see where it, you know, the grass is a little bit dead and you know, so I, I don't need moisture coming up into the wood and I don't need the wood to get ruined from that sitting in the water. So we have to come up with a solution to get them up off the ground. Um, I was using um, wood racks for my firewood last year, uh, you know, up on the up on the cement, and I think maybe I'll use those racks and just do like I was doing here with the firewood and put bricks underneath them to get them up off the, the earth. Because I have a lot, you can see there's a stack there. I have a lot of those pavers from when we pulled the front up, but. We're gonna put this one in the can. Um, I have more firewood now bundled than I burned last year. So which means that's next year's wood. And this is the year after. And we still got a lot of logs and we still got a lot of rounds that are already cut down to the one meter lengths split so I tried to get most of it done today it's just it's a lot of work so like I said we're gonna get this one into the can to you and yeah it's gonna be firewood 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 for at least another month so you know what I'm about to say if you're thinking about family you're thinking about friends give them the what's up of the whatsapp you know you'd love to hear from them too and until the next installment of Vita Zane.